that the visual is is definitely a key element. I think where a lot of brands really get it wrong though is just over relying on that and really un- misunderstanding like the messaging and the actual value you bring in the conversation, yeah. not just the logos. But I think yes, absolutely, it goes back to consistency. For for a leader that might not fully understand the importance of brand or even what makes up a brand, you mentioned about people and and that's something that a lot of people don't actually think about, that the people are the brand or the people are part of the brand. What, What are the other aspects that you think are important in a brand? I mean, everyone thinks about logos. I think that one's an obvious one, but it's far more than that. What what do you think are all the things that make up a brand? So it's funny because mine is a bit counterintuitive because I think a lot of people overemphasis overemphasis on the the aesthetics, and I think they are important. But I think when you're just starting out, like let's say you're an entrepreneur, I I will be honest, I didn't have a, a website or a logo for the first few years, and we we're still selling out like hotcakes. Um, because I realized that a brand, a logo is important to me. It doesn't necessarily matter to the customer or the people we're, we're doing business with. So I think a lot of people, when they tell me about, oh, we launched a new brand campaign, I say, okay, great, what did you do? And they said, oh, we updated our logo, we changed the font, or we changed the color slightly. And I'm like, that to me really isn't you know, a brand campaign. A brand campaign is really exemplifying what you talk about. So really understanding the values. And for us, it's really about transparency, being honest, and just being educational as much as possible. And I think that shines through in what we do. So understanding the values, not just talking about it, because I think most brands in their campaigns, their messaging, they say, we are this, we are that. But at the end of the day, no one really believes them because they're not exemplifying it. So I think it's important for uh, brands to really understand what are the values in the messaging. And one thing we used to do with, with Nike Mercedes-Benz is build like a message house. So mm-hmm. what is that overarching pillar message you want you want to build out? That's something that uh, goes across the board. And then you have, you think of a columns in a different uh, in a building. Each of those columns, we just talked about three to five, are the, the messaging that support that, that kind of fluffy or, or broader kind of vision. And I think you, beyond that, you need to have one level below that, which is proof points. So it's not enough to say, look, we are super transparent, or we are super practical in terms of our education. We have to back that up, particularly in Asia. So for example, when people ask me, yes, your workshops are definitely practical, I can say that's because we spend X number of hours working on each one. We've trained over you know, 8,000 executives or we've worked with these brands. So then they start putting it together. It's not just me saying, look, we're the best because I think too many brands try to do that. and it, it comes off the wrong way, but really backing it up with with strong, consistent messaging as well as proof points is a very, very great way to consistently build that brand over a longer period. The visual is is definitely a key element. I think where a lot of brands really get it wrong though is just over relying on that and really un- misunderstanding like the messaging and the actual value you bring in the conversation, yeah. not just the logos. But I think yes, absolutely, it goes back to consistency. So in order to build a real brand, you have to be consistent in terms of your message, in terms of, like you said, your tone of voice, what you're actually shouting about. And for a lot of organizations, for a lot of entrepreneurs, it's really, really tough. And this really goes back to identifying a clear target audience. And I talk about this all the time. And if I look at some successful businesses, if you look at Facebook, um, they started out just you know, creating a, a platform for Harvard students. If you look at Jeff Bezos, he just started building in books. And I I look at it across different sectors, across different industries, and it's the same thing, identifying a clear niche audience to begin with, because you can be very clear in terms of who you are trying to attract. And I'll I'll say this once again as an entrepreneur, this is something I did the hard way. And when you're an entrepreneur, it's it's tough to do that because when you start the business, you're trying to get anyone who'll give you money, basically. So it doesn't matter if they're a startup or they're corporate or they're government or they're big or small, it doesn't matter. You just try to take as much money. But one thing I always, tell people is once you build a business over like maybe a year or two, um, you can start connecting the dots and say, okay, which type of industries do we like working with? What which type of personas do we enjoy working for? Um, that's how we've kind of aligned on B2B marketing. And now we've shifted the podcast, going back to why would we originally start as Cup of Joe versus now with the B2B Marketing Asia podcast is because I'll be honest, when I started the business, I had no idea who we were targeting. <laughs> It was, you know, I had a, a sub, sub inkling of an idea, but it wasn't very clear. 
So to, to your point now, even making that sh subtle shift in terms of launching the, the podcast, uh, people are reaching out to me now saying, ah, you do B2B marketing. I said, yes, yes, we do. Um, so it's really, really honed in. Like I said, we've gotten a couple of new opportunities I was working on this morning from people going back to the consistent messaging, consistent value, and then that, that association, that perception of B2B marketing and now brand building, putting together and then connecting with us. So it's, it's worked out quite well, but it's definitely the long, tough road to get here. Thank you.